because uh, I'm constantly making these videos every day and sometimes it's just making the videos and I call that a day and I, I, I like to be interacting with you as well. So we're talking about this video of Megan. We got, we got people from Sheffield, Cape Town, London, France, Florida, Texas. Uh, let me see. Let's catch up. Um, uh, your side. Uh, oh, yes, I was yesterday with uh, Nana on GBN, GB News. Uh, it was nice. It was nice. I, I had to improvise uh, a bit. Uh, especially because of, of the images, but I wanted to set the record straight that many people were talking about the royal family, the silence of the royal family not saying anything about Invictus. And using that picture of Harry and with uh, William and Charles, then Prince of Wales, back in 2014, when they were at the first Invictus Games in, in London, but that was the first Invictus Games. Those were the first ones, and those were in London. So it it, it made sense that uh, William and Charles to drop by and support Harry. But that was the first time in 2016 when it was in uh, in the USA, if I remember correctly. It was just this sketch with Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth, and that was it. There was no no words from Buckingham Palace or Kensington Palace or or Clarence House. There was. Uh, it's like there was no need to have this independence. And I asked that question on Twitter. I uh, saw that some of you were saying that I just wanted to stir controversy about the royal family. But I understand that many things I don't know. I, I want to form an opinion. And you are, and I'm just a man, and you are hundreds of thousands. So it's easier if I ask you. You give me your opinion, and then I can have a better idea. Okay, this is how the royal household works in in this regards. Of course, I, I see many of your answers, and I can uh, do some research on your answer and say, "All oh, right, this is how it works. This is um, the, the the support is implicit. There there has there doesn't have to be an explicit statement." by Buckingham Palace this year because it's not needed. Oh my God, so many, so many of you. How many of you right now? 17, 1700. I love that, uh, that number, by the way, 17. So this video that I saw on Twitter, let me see that, make sure that I can. Okay, I can draw as well here. This video features Megan, and she is in the middle of uh, the, uh, the the Invictus Games. I don't know if this this was an event. Okay, I think this aspect ratio is the best. She was in the middle of uh, all these uh, fans. Some wanted to take a picture with her. Uh, of course, she is never going to miss the opportunity of uh, taking a picture, and you can see with the first frame that she is delighted about about that. Uh, you, you know that it's not that easy to see Megan truly happy, but when there are cameras around, that is a good reason for her to display, display that genuine smile. You know what makes Megan really happy? And it's attention. That's something that uh, some people are like that. Uh, it's nice to be able to... Uh, spot that kind of uh, personalities. And by the way, I want you to follow this girl right here. Who is this? Well, this is Beth Herlihy, that we have talked about her uh, a bit, that she has been around Harry. You know that. Those eyes that she gave to Harry on that polo match in Singapore. And then all the rumors of the sausage squad that are a bit jealous of her are telling Megan though hey try to try to uh stay away from Harry Harry should not be talking to her but we're going to see that Megan's relationship with Beth is quite close uh at least in a professional setting okay 
Now you can see as, as we advance, you can see that it's Beth. Okay, you remember Beth right here. Okay, easy to spot her. That is right, right beside Megan. Okay, and she is like sort of leading the way. Of course, she is. I don't know if I should call her an assistant or an advisor. Maybe she is both. But since she is with Megan or Harry or with both all the time, I will assume that she's some sort of an, maybe an executive assistant could be someone with uh, high responsibilities, make sure that everything goes uh, well. Maybe some sort of um, uh, an operations director, okay? Someone uh, who, who makes sure that things go um, flawless, okay? You can imagine that Megan is quite picky about that. So we can assume that Beth is competent and that's why Megan uh, picked her, okay? Because, uh, of course, there's the other thing that I have said that a couple times, Beth is, well, easy on the eyes and with Megan's character and personality that you know that you know what happened with uh the the Beckhams uh that she did not want the spotlight stolen from her and I'm sure that Megan is not that keen on seeing Beth having those headlines or maybe me covering Beth and Harry but so Beth has to be absolutely competent and at the same time she must know how to handle the duchess so my opinion is that we are going to be seeing beth a lot regardless of the rumors or whatever i, I think they i, I think megan knows that she needs beth so uh, megan is uh, going forward delighted that there's so many people around her and then she goes i, I don't know I also want you to spot uh, me uh, delete those uh, lines. I want you to spot, and this is thanks to according to Taz. Taz, if you're watching, I don't know uh, if you're in the in the live chat, if Taz is around, but I saw that Taz, prop to Taz, who was the one who spotted this. This guy on blue, you see this guy here. This guy on that blue. Blue, gray, blue, gray, checker shirt. Keep keep him in mind because he will be important. Thanks to, according to Taz. So he, they all are moving. Okay. And the guy, this guy here. Okay. He is like in charge of keep Megan moving, right? Okay. It's, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know. He doesn't look like security, but he looks like he is the one in charge of, well, keep moving, ma'am, please keep moving. You cannot stop here. Uh, maybe it could be a security hazard. I don't know, but well, Megan instead goes, uh, spots this person who is right here and will be in the lower right corner. And Beth also spots the person. Okay, there's no expression on Beth, so she was not surprised. It was maybe she, uh, it was something that uh, was going to happen. Sadly, we don't have we don't have visuals of Megan's face right now because uh, a girl or a guy in a cap uh, blocks her. But as we move forward, we we see this expression. And I want you to remember the expression that we had before okay, of being delighted and this expression right here. I'm going, to, I'm going to go back in time so it's easier to compare. You know, the first frame, this expression, it's, it's very easy to interpret. Uh, she, she is delighted and this one, Okay, wait a second. This one here, when she is approaching a disabled child. I think it's a kid, okay? I don't know if it can be seen in the frame right now. No, it still cannot be seen on the camera frame. But now, okay, now we can see, okay? Here's the kid, right? And here's Megan, 
no words have been spoken. Okay. Uh, you can see that she is uh, maybe nervous, maybe uncomfortable. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know what you would call that. Maybe we are witnessing a mask slip. Thanks, Tracy. Uh, I would not confirm that, and I'm going to talk about how we uh, how we could react in these situations. It could be uncomfortable. I, I can understand that, but I have a trick for these situations, by the way, uh, because you know that I, I've always been a shy person, a shy man. Uh, sometimes uh, it's like I, ha I have some kind of, um, how to say that? heuristics or formulas to act in this kind of situations. So most of the time, people that are disabled, people that uh, are nonverbal, most of the time, or, or it, it's, it, it's always, in, in fact, it's always, they will be with a family member or a friend or the one, the person who is uh, looking after them, right? So it just takes 10 seconds to talk to that person, ask them the name of the person that is disabled, and talk to the person w without expecting any answer, okay? You're not going to expect any, any answer, okay? You can uh, touch them the same way that you touch uh, any other person. Um, I, I, I've had talk about that kind of touch in my book. Uh, by the way, talking about body language, um, you're going to tell me that many people don't like to be touched, regardless if they are disabled or not, that uh, people don't do that. But there's a way of touching someone that no matter the culture, it's, it's going to work. Even if you are in Japan, even if you are in the UK, even if you are in places that people don't touch, uh, are, are not that touchy, uh, you have to imagine that you're going to press, you're just going to... Uh, touch the person with the tips of your fingers and you're not going to exert any pressure. Literally, it's just touching the person with... Uh, my trick, my personal trick is the tip of these two fingers, okay? These two fingers right here, okay? It will be this, these two fingers, okay? Yeah, I, I just reach out, touch them, okay? And uh, say whatever I want to say. In this case, their name. Okay, that that's a great trick. That that's what that's one of my personal tricks. Uh, that is in fact a neuro linguistic programming cue. Okay, when you want to talk to someone, when you want to convince someone, that that is that is one of my secret cues. Touching with this, these two fingers. Why these two these two fingers? Because usually. Uh, of course, the, the, the thumb is absolutely out of bounds. We're talking now about only this, this, from these four fingers, these two are the, um, you're not going to go overboard with the pressure with these two fingers. This is something that I practice myself. Uh, you can, maybe you can exert too much pressure. It's like the index finger has too much personality, too much weight to it. So um, that's why I make sure that I just touch them. I my open hand, okay, but only these two, these two fingers touch the person, right? That is that is my trick. I say their name, or I'm, I'm talking to a, a person. I'm gonna uh, tell them an anecdote, and I maybe I lower my voice to make it more uh, a bit mysterious, and I touch them. And the trick is to touch them in a subconscious way. The subconscious is gonna register that. But maybe the conscious mind is not going to register that. It doesn't matter. You want to address the subconscious. In this case, you want to address to a person who is nonverbal or maybe uh, doesn't have any, any kind of interaction with you. It doesn't matter. You ask for the name of the person and you touch them in this way. It, 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 never, it never fails. Okay? This, this, you would not fail with this. And this is the kind of thing. This is the kind of things that Megan should have been, uh, sh should have uh, known uh, before being in this in this kind of uh, situations. I understand that could be uh, uncomfortable, but you have to push yourself to engage with the person no matter what. So the problem is that she 
goes to this kid and takes a picture, okay? And then, okay, he goes a picture. She she stands up. I don't think she says anything. I'm going to go back a bit. Uh, zoom out. I don't think she says anything. I I think I see her lips moving, but the problem is the quality of the video doesn't allow. Uh, there's a smile there. No, it must have been one syllable, just one syllable. And then uh, notice that Megan stands up, and that's pretty much what I'm telling you to do. This, okay, to reach out and touch someone. Yeah, that's something that you do. That that's uh that uh looks um uh looks a bit political, but no, politicians do it because they imitate the <laughs> the neuro linguistic programming experts, and you know that's something that you have to do very very carefully. Uh, not too aggressive, as someone mentioned in the comments. I, I, um, I saw in your in your comments. I'm trying to keep an eye on your comments. I'm trying to highlight some of them. All right. Yes, yeah, she didn't even uh, talk to the family of of uh, the kid. Yeah, it's important to engage verbally with disabled people, and the most important word that you can say to anybody, not only disabled people, the most important word that there is, the most important word is their name. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Some of you have been watching my shows from years ago, and I always tell the same thing, but it's, I cannot overstate how important it is to use the person's name. That is, that is the most beautiful sound to our ears. Someone had call, called us by our name and someone uh sometimes i was uh, embarrassed if i asked someone's name now i force myself to ask anybody's name as soon as i think okay uh this person is going to do something for me for example a waiter i always ask their name so i can address them by name i think it's it's a way of respect the person and and, and yes it it's it's a way of uh, connecting with them. So many, so many things, that very small and very small details that can make someone's day so much better. They're so much better. 3,000 Royal Rogues right now. Thanks for being here. Remember to hit the like and the subscribe button. And if you want to support my channel on Facebook, there's the link to Facebook in the description of this video. But... It's like when I enter a shop or uh, or a restaurant and I know that I'm going to deal with people that are dealing with customers eight hours a day, uh, five, six days a week. And that is, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. So I, I do the best I can to, um, to make their days a bit better, a smile, calling them by their name, saying please and thank you, um, try, trying to be engaging with them, that helps. I, I have to tell you, I, I need to tell you, I am not a people person. I was not born a people's person, okay? Being around people, be, being in a, in a, in, um, in, in a, how to say this, Wait a second. Sorry. Uh, being in a let me stay here. Okay. In a crowd like this saps my energy with a speed that you have no idea. This is this is kind of situations that that just drain my social energy fast. Okay. Of course, I'm. Paying attention to everything at the same time, the sounds, the people, the movements, the gestures, everything, maybe that also takes a toll in my, in my energy and I, I get exhausted in, in, in a couple hours. I, I need like one day to recover. So 
please understand that I am not a people's person. I was never a people people's person. I learned how to read people because I am not a people's person. So that's why I, it, it's I put so much effort into trying to show you those tiny details and trying to show you what are the shortcuts that you can do to make your life better because if you make people's life easier or better, make their day better, just a smile, then your day guaranteed will be better. I I, I have I mentioned this a couple of times. That's why so many people are criticizing Megan for being um straight to the photo up. She goes straight for the photo up and then just stands up. And it's it's amazing how she treats this man right after the photo she treats this guy okay much more differently than the kid that is disabled kid one thing i told you many times look at her eyebrows the eyebrows raise our eyebrows raise when we want to greet someone i'm going to take my glasses off we have we use this uh, gesture of rising eyebrows it, it it is an universe, universal uh, sign of goodwill. That's why we sometimes we acknowledge a person maybe uh, down the street or far away from us, like 20 meters from us doing this, uh, like raising our head and raising our eyebrows. That's, that's a universal sign of uh, goodwill. And Megan is doing... It right here, rising her eyebrows, smiling, engaging with the person, looking into their eyes. Why? Why couldn't do? Why, she could have tried a bit more with, with the kid. Uh, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna say two things back to back. To some extent, I would not criticize someone for behaving like this. Let, let's say I, 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 I usually. We make mistakes, okay? Many years ago, I would have made this same mistake. We, we are humans. We don't know how to act in every situation. Um, what I always recommend is that if you don't know how to act in a situation or you have to look forward to it, maybe you are looking forward to an argument or you're, you have a, you're gonna have an argument with someone or you have to... Um, talk a difficult topic with someone or you know that an encounter with a person is going to be difficult, you rehearse that in your mind. Okay, I, I should act this way. Many things, many of the things that I, I've done is because I, I just rehearse that, practice them, apply them, and okay, they, they work. And the things that work, that's what I gave you. But in the case of Megan, Let's face it, she grew up on a TV set. You can imagine how many people she saw daily. And then she worked in Hollywood and you have to work with a crew of uh, dozens of, of people and you have to be interacting with them. And then she became uh, a royal, okay, by, uh, by marrying into the royal family. How many people, in how many situations, do you think Megan has been interacting? throughout her life. Many, right? So no, there's there's no way of of uh of saying, okay, this uh, we, we can give you a pass. I cannot give Megan a pass right here just for the reason that she's got enough experience through all her life to behave in a moment like this and she chose to not behave the uh, maybe not the right way, but in a way that is respectful for the person which she is taking a picture with. So that that is that is important. I think that's important. Look how she engages with uh, this man. Beth appears again. Hello, Beth. Oh, it's glad that we're going to be have Beth around. And I want to show you something that I'm sure you have missed from this clip. Okay, it's rather chaotic. Look that Beth is moving towards Megan. 
Okay, I think I can. I can. Okay, wait a second. I can make this. Okay, a bit bigger. I want to. I I need a bigger brush. Okay, I can't. Oh my god. Well, that <laughs> that arrow is is gonna stay there. Oh well. Beth goes towards Megan, and this hand here. I want you to look at this hand. I'm gonna point it with a big yellow arrow, and I want you to show this. This is that I missed the first ten times I saw this video. That, that's why I usually um, uh, like to watch videos more than. 20 times, just to make sure I don't miss any detail. And I saw Beth's hand that touches Megan on, on, on her side, on her side of uh, her, her belly, her abdomen. I, I don't know how to say, uh, uh, say that, but Beth is guiding Megan as she places her hand on her body, on Megan's body. Now, I'm just implying, of course, Beth wants Megan to keep moving. We need to keep moving. But that touch on Megan's body is, uh, it, it, it's, it tells me that Megan trusts Beth. Okay. And Beth knows that Megan trusts her. And that's why she touches Megan that way. There, there's no, no other way that. Beth would touch Megan. Okay, there it comes. You can see right there. There it is. Beth's hand. Okay. And we go a bit. We zoom out. Mm, okay. Right now, Beth is. Okay. She's touching Megan's like. Okay, we have to keep moving. Maybe, maybe not that protecting. Uh, notice that we got the guy with the blue checker uh, shirt to the right, also guiding Megan, also pushing. Hey, we need to keep moving. And Megan, no, I'm gonna stay here uh, taking pictures. Uh, she even does this uh, this uh, gesture. I don't know if you can do that gesture in, in Germany. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. This is the thumbs up is the kind of gesture that I prefer not 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 do. I, I usually do do it here in my in my in my in my shows, but I usually don't do it in person. It uh it is not universally uh, well accepted. And so in just in case, and we got another touch of Beth again. Beth uh, is looking and talking to this woman. And so Beth touches Megan again, this time in her arm. Okay? This is the kind of touch that I'm talking about. Just guiding the person. Very subtle. This. Right this. But this is a much more professional touch. This, you're touching the person's arm. The arm, uh, whether it's shoulder or arm or middle to upper back. Um, I usually don't touch the person's back because uh, it's like you are behind them or you are embracing them and that is no-no uh, in professional settings. But whatever is from shoulder to elbow, it's okay. It, it's usually okay as long as you touch the way that I've told you. So this touch, this touch is professional. This other touch in Megan's uh, waist or in the side of her torso is much more intimate, it's much more trust. So that, that tells me, okay, this is, they, they are, maybe they are friends. Could we say that they are friends? But you know how our, is Megan with, uh, with friends? You know, you don't, you never know when she's gonna dump them. But so many interesting signals in this video that we could uh, talk about. And then, and then we move forward, uh, like like this face. Okay, this is this is this is when we begin to enter exaggerated territory. And if I saw this in full close up, 
you will see it too. And as I put this uh, zoom in, I'm gonna read your read your uh, your comments. Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! Your more than friends? No, may, maybe no friends. I, I I think that they are friends. Uh, um, I think the guy's hand is in there too, on or near her waist. Uh, well, that would be inappropriate. I, I don't think a uh, uh, man that is not friends uh, with a woman should touch her uh, in any way or torso. Arm, shoulder to elbow, that's fine. Even even the forearm, even the forearm is uh, it's a bit invasive because it's a bit near the hand, which uh, of course you cannot hold a woman's hand without her permission. It's it's inappropriate. I I I, I um, train professionals in this, and that touch on the arm is the way to go. And no, that was not happening here. But this this face was was a bit exaggerated. Megan, oh, oh, please, please, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Some 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 sugars in the house. Some sugars in the house. But you know that I sugars. I am not criticizing Megan per se. You you know that. It's like I'm saying that she should know how to behave in this setting. She is just choosing not to. Uh right. Uh Okay, maybe it's like this. Don't touch erotic, not not erotic, erogenous. Erogenous is the is the word. Erogenous zones. Uh, you have to be very careful with that, especially in this era, man to uh, women. Uh, she is overacting as usual. Uh, Oh my God! You, you know, you know that many people. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. Sorry, that was unintended. Uh, many people uh, on Twitter. I'm gonna draw a line of this. I, I, I want to talk about that, about this. Many people are criticizing Megan's uh, appearance, and uh, you know that that's a line that I draw, and I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to to go there. I'm. In this case, I'm talking about Megan's behavior. Okay, what went wrong? What, what, uh, what would I have done? Maybe you can do the same in, uh, in her place. That's what we are doing. But uh, I know that I, I, I've told you that I, I want to uphold free speech on the comments. But please make sure that you keep them respectful. So, Megan, we got this. Highly raised eyebrows. Okay. Again, that's something that you do to connect with people. Megan is uh, exaggerating just a bit. Just a bit there. Takes a picture. Okay. All right. Delighted. This is Megan. This is... This is the real Megan. She's delighted. She's enjoying. She's enjoying it. We, 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 we cannot deny that. We... We have to understand it's nice when you find out about the true nature of a person. And what I'm going to tell you is going to be a bit hard to digest, but it's the way to go. Okay, maybe in this case it's Megan. Maybe you don't like Megan. Okay, that's okay, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that what you want to look for, even if when you don't like a person, you want to find out their true colors. What are they about? And in this case, Megan is about the attention. Okay? And I want you to, rem to, to remember this. This is very important. Regardless if you like or dislike the person, it doesn't matter. What you want is to go deep until that layer to say, okay, this is what the person likes. This is what the person is about. This is what their true character is about. Whether you like or dislike them, it doesn't matter. 
Okay? I know that your emotions can get in the way, can be very strong, but I need you to be a bit pragmatic here, practical, and go, okay, I know this. I, I, I found it, what this person is about. Why is this important? Because you will never be able to uh, exercise or apply or use real empathy unless you force yourself to find that deep layer of the person. Okay, you... Sometimes people think that only tolerating people is being uh, having empathy. No, you, you, you want to know. You want to find out. Even if what you find out you don't like, okay, that is important. Even if what you find, you don't like what you find, that's what you want to look for, okay? And that will, that will help you also understand the, the people that you do like. Because sometimes we love people or we like people, but we do not understand them because we are focused on here, what we are thinking, what we, our opinions, what we are going to say. Uh, we want to talk. We want to say something and we don't listen to the other person. That, that, has to, that has to stop for a minute. In this case, we are talking about Megan. Maybe you don't like Megan that much, but it's a good example. Still a good example. Discover the real Megan behind all this, uh, 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 all this, Facial expression. Okay, now there she is beginning to drop the mask a bit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. The face of, of the kid, the girl. All right, we move forward. Okay. Notice that there is a... a, a she acknowledges the, uh, the woman. Okay. She could have done the same with the kid. Okay, another picture. And this guy is getting fed up. Ma'am, ma'am, we need to leave right now. You see that his face is... Oh, we have to go. We have to keep going. Stop taking pictures. But no, Megan. Oh, yes. Representation. Oh, this is, this is important. Representation. The the forty three percent we need the forty three percent that you know that the guy is pressing his lips. Uh, you already know that. You have seen my videos. So Megan goes for the representation photo, and then I think that was the end. No, that was almost the end. Takes the picture and acknowledges, says thank you, and even oh, what gesture, a cute gesture. Why? Why didn't she do that with the kid? And there's Beth right by her side. So I, I wanted to show you, you know, that this is um, half, uh, half a gossip, half entertainment, another half a bit of uh, talking about that. Yeah, that, there's sugars in the house. I, um, <laughs> okay, I, you mean, you mean, you mean the people that, that they were, uh, she was uh, taking the pictures with, I understand. Uh, yeah, sugars. Uh, <laughs> that guy looks really annoyed. Yeah. Um, I understand she was booed while on stage. I don't know. We, we don't have records of she being booed. Uh, in the closing ceremony, the, the cheers were not that. Uh, the MC tried to man mention the Duchess of Sausages, but the cheers were instantly... Look warm, so she, the MC, moved uh, immediately. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. We're reading your right now. All right. So, well, many, many details in this video, and that's what I wanted to show you. And I, um, I sometimes, uh, I, I, I don't want to be that uh, nitpicky, is, is the word, uh, nitpicky. Yeah, nitpicky is, uh, or, or petty, 
uh, petty criticism. You know that I make a lot of memes about Meghan and Harry. I try to keep my commentary fair. By the way, I, I think I can show you something. Let me see if I can. I'm going to improvise right now. If I can improvise. I uh, want to show you something that happened on Twitter today. That, uh, let me see. You know, sometimes I defend Megan at all. I, 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 even defend them, uh, her. I'm not going to post the... the um, the account itself, but I'm going to do some magic right now behind, uh, behind, uh, you see what I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing. This is not, no, no, no body sh shaming at all, but I'm going to do play on this. Okay. And then I'm going to change. Uh, I'm going to show you this. Okay, this is something that happened in uh, on Twitter today. Someone suggested that this was Megan's leg and this was not Megan's leg. That is misinformation. This is um, Janice Dickinson. You remember Janice Dickinson? She was married to Sylvester Stallone, if I remember correctly. She was a top model. Uh, maybe she's got too much sun. I don't know what's her age. Doesn't matter here. We're not talking about that. But just to be clear that this leg is not Megan's leg. So I, I try to be fair with my commentary. And I absolutely don't like when people begin to talk about intrinsic qualities, especially of, of, of women. For me as a gentleman, uh, it's uh, something that uh, I find in bad taste. But there's always uh, funny memes and comment, comments like this from Duchess Moon and Sparkle. I always know where the camera is. It's like a sixth sense. And yeah, you know that Megan always knows where the camera is. And I don't know if I can show you, in fact, the clip. Uh, I have the clip? No, I, ha I don't have the clip. Maybe I could add the clip. Uh, if you wait a bit, maybe I can find the clip. Let me go back to After Effects here. I could find the clip. Uh, wait a second. The clip of her at the ceremony and I hope that I put it here and I got, don't get triggered for copyright. Okay, yes, we got the clip here. And let me see working in the background. Oh, no, it's not here. Mm, it's keynote. Keynote, okay. There's a clip, and maybe if I, I I'm gonna um, play the clip so you can listen to it, and you can you will listen how the uh, the cheers change when uh, Megan is announced. Here we go. Duka Sasek is back. He brought along the wonderful Duchess of Sussex. She is, yes, yes. She's stoked to see you all, and I've got a feeling the feeling is mutual. Or are you just as excited to see you? Yeah, perfect. So, so it's, it's, it's like there was some cheering, but there was a bit lukewarm. It began rising, but she immediately just jumped right next. She, she, she didn't, it's like, she did not uh, gave the audience the opportunity to to cheer, really, because, well, uh, she was testing the waters. Maybe uh, someone told her, you need to test the waters if you think you can, uh, uh, you will get a nice response, a nice reaction from the public. You have to measure that reaction. And if you see that there's no reaction, you have to move on. So 
Yes, I, I got attacked uh, today on Twitter as well. Oh, they yeah, they were they were uh, cheering her. You're unfair. You're biased. They were cheering uh, Megan. No, not in the way that they they should. Not not the same way they cheered Harry. We have to say that. Not in the same way they cheered Harry. So again, I this is this is not this is just for pure entertainment you know that's uh that's my my main concern with you um according to sid Mont montanier there was a lot of booing when they were outside that's not something i i don't know but i would like to go for look for that wow we got some super chats margie hey hello margie thanks for being here again margie is a regular here Tropical Bojager, a red heart. No, oh, thank you. Thank you for your red heart. Uh, and Marie, and Marie, I always remember that and Marie was the first super chat on the Royal Rogue ever. Harry on Germany's biggest sports TV show, the sports show, was so cringe. He lost a goal. Oh, yes. Harry was in a goal shootout and he failed every attempt. But, but well, the, the, the holes were quite... I, I would fail every attempt as well. So I, I'm not going to blame Harry on that one. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. In my opinion, if His Majesty King Charles and Her Majesty Queen Camilla don't remove them from the line of succession, Harry, grave damage will ensue to monarchy. Well, that's, uh, that's a harsh opinion. I, I don't think it would really matter. Uh, I hope it doesn't matter that Harry stays on uh, on that. Uh, uh, he's the fifth, right? Fifth in line to the throne right now. I, I don't think it, it matters. I, I don't think it, it's, it's going to matter really. Uh, oh, yeah. Janice Dickinson, she was always cool. She spoke her mind. Uh, <laughs> the, Sussex, the Sussex squad cheered. Uh, All right. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. So, some, of, some of your comments are extra mean today. But that's what I wanted to share with you tonight and uh, read some of your comments and interact with you, my rogues. Um, you can see my, that my voice has come back. Not 100%, maybe 95%. Today, I took some pills to... Well, go the extra mile with you, share with you one all old school live stream on um, uh, on here uh, around one hour. You can help me build my presence on Facebook. There's a link in the description of this video. You will you would help me a lot with you. You have Facebook. You have Facebook, right? Many of you have Facebook. You just go there and click on the Royal Rogue and subscribe. Uh, or follow the Royal Rogue on Facebook. And um, I don't know what else. I, I, I knew that there was something else I wanted to tell you, but I can't remember what it was. I know there was this other thing. But well, I think that, that was it for today. I think that's it for today. My Royal Rogue is. Uh, has been my pleasure to spend this uh, one hour. We are we're around one hour together. And as usual, it has been very fun. Maybe the video didn't have as much information as we have had in other times. But rest assured, if you're following me on the Battle Language Guy channel, most probably I will be doing more live streams, spontaneous live streams, because uh, I want to do more uh blind body language analysis and talk about cases i should be talking about russell brand tomorrow i had no time to make that video today but most probably i will be doing a live stream about russell brand tomorrow so my royal rogues my name is jesus enrique rosa sam the royal rogue and until we meet on another video or another live remember the two most important words 
Much love and bliss. Remember to take care of yourself. I love every single one of you and we'll meet here tomorrow. Bye-bye.